Snakes are one of the scariest animals in the world, but that doesn't mean they always come out on top. Sometimes these slippery customers throw their weight around and in doing so anger the wrong enemy. These are 20 times snakes messed with the wrong opponent. Number 20. Snake vs. Turtle The phrase, this snake messed with the wrong turtle, is not something you'll say every day, mainly because when you picture turtles, you don't think of them as being aggressors. You honestly think of them more in defensive ways, as they use their shells to get away from predators and ensure their survival. But as this snake would find out, just because a turtle is in its shell does not mean that it's defenseless. In this particular attack, a snake found a turtle in its shell and thought somewhat correctly that it had an easy meal. And if you think about the way that a turtle hides within its shell, the snake was right. It's all the way retracted and the snake's body can weasel right into the shell, which is exactly what it did. But the catch here though was that the turtle was having none of it, and the moment the snake reached its head into the turtle's shell, it got bit. Not only bit, but it got bit hard enough that the snake had a violent reaction in terms of its body all but screaming in pain, despite the fact that snakes don't scream. Or do they? Perhaps that's a question for another time. The snake did manage to get away, but as you can see it literally blitzed away at high speed because it wanted nothing to do with that turtle anymore. So allow this to be a reference point for not only you snakes that are watching, and you know who you are, but everyone else as well. Just because you're in defense mode doesn't mean that you can't attack. You would know that if you played me in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's your move, snake. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Kangaroo Rats vs. Rattlesnakes Here's another thing that you probably would not likely say too much in real life. Kangaroo rats. Yes, I'll say it again to make it a three-peat. Kangaroo rats. Now, I'm not honestly sure what to make of all this, but I'll just get on with it. If you think that these are rats with kangaroo genes and thus are expert boxers, well, you'd be wrong. But if you think that they're a rat with massive hind legs and feet that can literally kick the crap out of a rattlesnake that's trying to eat it, you'd be more on the right path. In fact, the ability to do that to snakes is apparently a big deal in California. Kangaroo rats can respond quickly and are frequently able to jump clear of a snake, leaving the serpent biting nothing but the dust as the kangaroo rat rockets seven or even eight body links into the air. They studied the power of these rat legs and the results were impressive. Rats can react in lightning fast times and can kick a rattlesnake in the head so much that it launches them in a different direction. That's a perfect example of evolution at work because most times a rat is literally the favorite lunch of a snake. They're not exactly built to go and fight back without any serious help or by infecting the snake with a disease. But here, the rats developed legs that would allow them to fight back and to do it very hard. To be clear, I still think that rats are the vermin of the earth, but in this particular instance, well, good for them. Number 18. Mongoose vs. Cape Cobra when you think of rivalries in the animal world, ones that are truly matches of back and forth foes that want to take a chunk out of each other, you probably think about dogs and cats, insects versus birds, and so on. But arguably, one of the biggest rivalries in nature is that of a mongoose against a snake. And this particular clip of one going up against a snake is a key piece of evidence as to why this rivalry is so fierce. As you can see, at first there's not really any action going on as the mongoose just enjoys its walkabout, but then it gets into the house and finds itself staring at a cape cobra. What follows is an intense showdown that would rival just about anything shown on the Discovery Channel or Animal Planet 
because these two natural enemies go at one another with both fierce intensity and cool poise. Seriously, just look at how the battle goes back and forth with each side not only getting their licks in, but also adapting to the situation. The mongoose in particular is able not only to read the cobra's attacks, but to get in close at times and almost egg it on to strike. And then the cobra does strike, and the mongoose is not afraid at all. And even when it runs off a bit, it's only so that it can get to a better position for the fight. This is not only intense, but it's also kind of awesome. The only thing that could have been better is if the mongoose had listened to its master and gone to the high ground. Number 17. Snake vs. Porcupine to be clear, while snakes are absolutely incredible predators with a refined sense that leaves humans in the dust at times, that doesn't mean that they're the brightest bulbs of the animal kingdom. After all, this whole list is built upon the fact that snakes have a bad habit of fighting against opponents that aren't exactly the best matchup for them. And sometimes they take it to the next level and eat things that they really shouldn't have. As the title of this entry reveals, that would be a snake versus a porcupine. Yes, a snake decided one day that it wanted to dine on a porcupine, but not just any porcupine. It went for a full course meal and ate one that was 30 pounds. That's right, it swallowed a 30 pound porcupine so that it could digest it over time as most snakes do when they kill their prey. But of course the joke was on the snake, because even though it was able to eat that creature and get it down its body, it did get the revenge that it deserved by causing the snake to not just swell but also be riddled with pain. What's worse, arguably, is that someone found this snake in its engorged state and started telling people about it, and so they added to the snake's humiliation by taking pictures and videos and posting it online. But at the time, they didn't know what it had done. A few days after the meal, the snake actually died, likely from the pain and agony that it was in, and when the people cut the snake open, it revealed the porcupine inside and its needles burrowing into the snake's body. In animals, as is the case with humans, you really need to watch what you eat. Number 16. Sand Cat vs. Desert Snake one of the more interesting things about snakes is that they are not just all over the world, they're all over various biomes and habitats. You'll find them in prairies, woods, jungles, you'll even find them in the water, and of course in arid areas like the desert. These snakes are often the most deadly at times because they have venom and a quick striking ability that enables them to survive in those harsh conditions. The catch though is that they need to know who they're fighting against in order to survive, and this one most definitely did not. As it didn't even go up against a small creature, it went up against a sand cat. Yes, this cat just happened to go up to a desert snake, and the battle that occurred was intense. Number 15. Python, Honey Badger, Jackals yeah, there's a combo of creatures that you don't really want to meet in a dark alley. The python could squeeze you to death, depending on its size. The jackals might strip your bones clean, and as we all know, honey badger don't care. Now how this all happened is quite interesting because as you can see in the video, a python, and a large one at that, has ensnared a honey badger and is trying to kill it. But then a jackal comes along and it actually helps to save the honey badger from the python, which is not something you would expect, but it did happen. Eventually the honey badger would get free and the two started to attack the python together. All is well, right? Well, at first, yes, because with the help of yet another jackal, they're able to get the drop on the python and eventually kill it. Go team! But then the honey badger turns on the jackals, deciding that it wants the meal and that nobody else is going to get it. Remember, the jackals saved this honey badger's life, and it was more than happy to have their help in regards to killing the python, but when it was time to actually eat, he wanted nothing more to do with them. Yeah, I know the video is supposed to be about the snake, but this is more important. Important. This is about fairness, this is about dignity, and this is about thanking those who come to you in your moment of aid. But again, Honey Badger don't care. Honey Badger don't give a... <laughs> you know the rest. Number 14. Snake vs. Mother Hen 
notice those words that I put there. Not hen, but mother hen. Because as we all should know, when it comes to a mother protecting the child or children that she loves, she'll do anything for them, even unleashing a part of herself that she never knew she had before in order to get the job done. Enter the mother hen, who is next to her chicks when a venomous snake enters the picture. Usually this would be an easy target for the snake because all it has to do is bite the mother hen, infecting it with its venom, and then the chicks are there for the taking. But instead, the mother hen goes freaking ape, and as you can see, is doing everything and anything in order to protect its chicks from the snake. And it's honestly quite a sight to behold. The mother gets a lot of shots in on the snake and is making a lot of ruckus via its wings, and it's not letting up until that snake is out of their lives. Anyone who's ever played The Legend of Zelda knows that you don't really want to mess with birds, but this takes it to a whole new level of awesome. Because instead of just allowing things to happen, that mother hen acted upon instinct, pure primal and almost killer instinct, and that snake likely never showed up near that hen again. Or more than likely, never showed up anywhere near any any hen again. Number 13. Rattlesnake vs. Rex Now if you poke the bear, and then the bear comes after you, well, that's exactly what happened when some rattlesnakes decided to mess with a lizard that some people have named Rex. Because in this clip, we see a bunch of rattlesnakes provoking some very large lizards, and then they scurry away thinking that nothing's possibly going to happen to them. Oh, those delusional snakes. If only the animal kingdom worked in that way. But sadly for them, it most certainly does not. Because not only did those lizards, Dino and Rex, go out in search of the rattlesnakes, Rex actually found them, and then he ate them all. The rattlesnake is not happy. That's right, the lizard went full on all you can eat buffet and then began chowing down on those rattlers like they were absolutely nothing. Just look at the ease with which this lizard is dining upon them. That's not only weird, it's just wrong. And yet you can bet that Rex is having the time of his life as he goes and gets arguably the most delicious meal that he's ever had because revenge, well, it's a dish that's best served cold. Or in this case, cold blooded. <laughs> <clears throat> because snakes and lizards are cold-blooded, well, I'll move on. The point here is that this is something that you don't see unless you're looking for it, because while snakes do get eaten all the time, it's not in this way that's so dang easy. The worst part? Well, that might be that those lizards likely never got a meal as great as that again. Number 12. Coastal Taipan vs. Frog now, if you know your snake species, then you know that the coastal taipan is easily one of the most venomous snakes in the world today. Its venom is so strong, in fact, that one bite from it could absolutely kill you in a day's time, and as such, you'd be forgiven for thinking that a few but mighty of the creatures in the animal kingdom could take down such a poisonous serpent. Instead, this is the story about how one was beaten and then eaten by a green tree frog. And I'm not making that up. Because, as Queensland snake catcher Jamie Chappell can attest to and prove, he came across a frog that was full on eating a coastal taipan. Now, I'm not sure how it went about getting the snake, but it not only ate it, it ate it to the point where Chappell came across it and the snake's head was still dangling in its mouth. Oh, you heard that right. The live taipan was being eaten by the frog, and you could see that he could tell that the snake was alive because it was moving around in the frog's stomach. Now that might explain why it left the head uneaten. It didn't want to latch onto its innards. And you all thought that frogs were only nice and kind creatures. Well, wrong. Number 11. Mother Squirrel vs. Cobra now I'm doing a sequel here because we got another mother trying to defend her babies from a vicious predator. And in this case, it's a cobra versus a mother squirrel. But not the matchup that favors the mother squirrel, if I'm being honest. But does that mother care? Well, not one bit. Her children are on the line, and not only does she battle the cobra, she battles it all over the show. They go and fight in the open areas. They fight in the tree line. The mother uses her tail to try and gain an advantage 
passage, she employs her lightning-quick reflexes to avoid the snake's strikes, and it's all a beautiful thing. The only bad part here is that a person was filming all of it, and they didn't go to help the squirrel. It's in trouble, lady. Get out there and help. But no, all this person could do was just praise the mother squirrel after the fact. He's done it before, obviously. Yeah. He's quick. Talking about how a mother's love is unlimited and it never fades until the last breath, and that it explains the strength of a squirrel mother in taking up a fight against a mighty cobra. Well, yeah, it's awesome, but even a mother knows when to ask for help, so get out there and help her. Even if it is just throwing a rock at the snake to get its focus on you so the squirrel can escape with her babies. You know every little bit helps. Are we a bit too invested in this? No, we're not. Number 10. Dogs versus King Cobra If you're going to rank some of the snakes of the world, the King Cobra is easily one of the most deadly and well-known. They're big and venomous, and if they were to bite a human, they would be able to kill it 20 times over. Heck, they would be able to take down an elephant with their bite power. So you'd think that any animal that would be stupid enough to try and fight one of these snakes? Well, yeah, they would, but there's a loophole in that. Why fight the snake one-on-one -on -one when you can take it on with your pack? And that's exactly what some dogs did, using their pack mentality to get teamwork going and get around the immediate dangers of the King Cobra in order to teach it a lesson. Mainly, one dog would distract it while another would take a bite out of it. As you can see, this is a very long cobra, so the dogs are able to sneak up on it and actually drag it along the ground in order to get things done. Now, I'll give props to the snake because it's able to withstand their attacks and try to counter, but the dogs absolutely have its number on this day. You never see these kind of tactics against snakes very often due to them being ambush predators, so it's refreshing to see that even sometimes tactics can win the day. Number 9. Woodpecker versus Snake Here's yet another matchup that you wouldn't immediately think would occur. Yes, snakes do sometimes live in trees, and some even go after birds for meals, but you don't think about those two actually battling one another. In this case, however, the woodpecker in question is a mother, so three's company. And this particular snake, a yellow-bellied puffing snake, has come out of a hole in the tree that the woodpecker is nested in in order to take its eggs. Now, naturally, the mother woodpecker is not going to allow that. Unless you think that this mother is at a disadvantage, well, it's not so much. Because remember the beak of a woodpecker is thrust against hardened wood of trees all the time in order to make a hole to live in. So, piercing the flesh of a snake, well, that's honestly rather easy. Or at least it would be if this snake went down easy. Instead, the mother woodpecker got bit multiple times, fell down from the tree, and then got back up to defend her young. That's love and dedication there, ladies and gentlemen. Number 8. Snake vs. Crows Here's a mixture of the last two entries because now I'm talking about another tag team, but this time it goes with birds. In this one, we have a small snake that has unfortunately attracted the attention of not one, but two birds, and in this case, it's a duo of crows. That alone would spell doom for the snake, but thankfully for it, at least in the short term, it's able to battle the birds in a variety of ways, not the least of which is lashing out and making sure that they can't get entirely airborne, as that would spell their doom. The birds are smart though as well, and they're able to use a tag team tactic in order to take on the snake one at a time, ensuring that they can stay close, but also that the snake doesn't get away. It makes it one big situation where the snake is at a disadvantage. It's a much smaller snake in an open area with no hiding spaces, and it's against two very hungry and very determined crows. Number 7. Leopard vs. Python now, you don't typically picture a snake going up against one of the big cats of the world for various reasons, not the least of which is that most of the big cats have a size advantage against snakes, and snakes aren't exactly on their menu of choice. But sometimes, if the meal is there and it's free, the real question is, why not? 
such as with this python and leopard. And to the snake's credit, it honestly didn't instigate the fight, rather the leopard just happens to stumble upon the creature as it was resting or even sunbathing. And as you can tell, it's curious at first as to what it wants to do with it, and eventually decides that it wants to eat it. And after toying with it for a bit, it goes for the head and literally drags the python to its doom. That, children, is why you don't mess with the big cats, because they bite. Number 6. Snakes vs. Praying Mantis If you were to be told that a snake would be afraid of an insect, you'd likely reply that this would have to be one heck of an insect, right? Well, yes and no. It's an impressive insect, but not because of its size, rather because of its skill. I speak, of course, of the praying mantis. Although snakes are not the top item on a praying mantis's menu, they do take on snakes wherever there's an opportunity. Mantises are formidable yet patient hunters and will never miss the chance of feasting on an animal such as this. Even more, they are the masters of camouflage and are able to do sneak attacks on snakes and then use their arms to ensure that the mandibles of the snake never touch them, so thus they cannot die. Well, in theory at least. And do recall that mantises are one-third the size of the most average snake, so for them to kill them, well, or even just fight them off, is pretty impressive indeed. Number 5. Dogs vs. Cobra Again Now how about another dog story? Two brave pet dogs would square up to a huge king cobra that slithered into their garden, and the fearless five-year-old pooches named Motown and Lenny bounded over to the deadly reptile and dared to fight against the deadly snake. <laughs> Though, to be fair, they weren't doing this to be aggressive creatures. They were doing it to protect their owner, who happened to be inside at the time. In fact, they actually attempted multiple times to scare away the snake, but the cobra just wouldn't budge. Eventually, the owner came out and called emergency services to get the snake removed, but it might have been a different story had the dogs not been there. Number 4. Mother Cat vs. Snake a quartet of mothers fighting snakes? You just don't get it any better than that. This time, though, we're finding ourselves with a mother cat who's protecting her kittens from a cobra that has gotten way too close for her comfort. In this case, it's some wild cats who have made a home in a cave shelter, and the mother senses that the snake is on the way and, as such, begins to protect the young. Then the snake shows up and the battle is on. The mother cat strikes, hisses, bounds, and more, all to make sure that the snake knows that it's not getting her kittens today. The fight was intense and there was damage on both sides, but eventually the mother cat would rule the day. Number 3. Secretary Bird vs. Cobra now, I'm not sure if having a bird as a secretary is a good thing, but you never know, right? The species known as the secretary bird are actually one of the species of animals that are perfectly suited to kill a snake, and it all has to do with their legs. You see, they have very long legs that give them not only a certain reach, but the ability to strike at foes, like snakes, with an incredible impact that can actually be lethal. And as you can see here, the secretary bird makes short work of a king cobra. You know that very deadly snake from before that I talked about? Well, it kills with its precise strikes, and that's pretty cool. Number 2. Python vs. Leopard Again Alright, so now this time it's all the python's fault that this goes down as it does, because this large snake decided quite unwisely that they were going to mess with a large leopard, thinking that this would be a rather lovely meal for them. Except the leopard was alive and more than capable of doing whatever the heck it needed to the snake. The scrap that these two would get into is rather intense, and you can see why this leopard is going all out in order to get things done. In the end, the leopard ends up winning, but was that really that much of a surprise? For me, I don't think so. Number 1. Iguana vs. Snakes the last one on my list honestly shouldn't have gone the way that it did. It's about a young iguana that decides that it's going to try and evade a set of snakes that are barreling down upon it. Now, it should have had absolutely no chance of getting out. However, through determination and will, it did escape, even squeezing through some rocks in order to get to safety. 
Now sure, the iguana didn't attack the snakes like in all the other videos, but sometimes defense is the best offense and the best mockery of their skills. And that's all from the realm of snakes getting absolutely owned by their opponents. Are you surprised that so many of them went up against the worst kind of foe for them to be embarrassed as a result? And which of these fights could you not help but laugh at? Do you know of another time that a snake went up against an enemy and lost? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments below. Also check out the other cool things showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.